And then Mickey walks over to the table after the wizard leaves, and he messes up a bunch of stuff by accident. It's, I don't know if you're flashing something. Yeah, I just noticed that. Um, so, the, uh, you accidentally make a mess, and by the end of the game, you realize you kind of accidentally destroyed their world. Like, all these, like, old cartoon characters are all living all happy, and then you basically murdered a bunch of them by sheer accident. <laughs> and it's, it's dark. Uh, the whole plot of the game is uh, paint and thinner. Uh, paint restores, thinner destroys. You can, like, play through the whole game. You can restore things, which is probably where my love for restoration came from. But no, you play as Mickey, you paint things. There's a, there's a surprisingly in-depth story for a game about Mickey Mouse. That, that game does Pl sound Plot, interesting. story, um, drama. Um, and there's a sequel to it, which is okay. It's not as good as the first one. The first game, just the world design, the, the concept itself. Like, the creators of this game dug through the Disney vault. Like, of all their old materials and based, like, whole sections of the game off of them. Like, there's an entire, like, species of characters in the game, gremlins, that come from an unused Disney short from, like, the 60s. And it's got Oswald Rabbit, which was um, Mickey's um, predecessor. He was the first of Walt's creations and then got uh, licensed out to somebody else. So Walt made Mickey, and uh, Oswald hates that and resents him. So it's a, it's a very interesting story. It's one of my favorite series. I would love for a third one, or at least just ports onto the Switch, because I would love to play that game portably. Uh, what other games do I have for my Wii? <laughs> Another game that made me mad, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. It's like a Looney Tunes game. I could never figure out how to play it. Like, I would, I got through, like, a few levels and went, what's going on? How am I playing this? And then, I had all the Lego Harry Potter. I had a lot of Lego games as a kid. I had all the Lego Harry Potter games, so I was playing that a lot. Uh, Wipe Out the Game. You ever watch Wipe Out the Show? Yeah. It was an amazing show. I mean, I don't know they rebooted it recently. I haven't actually watched any of it because get John Cena respect him. But um, you know, wipe out the game. Me and my sister, I remember playing it, and we were just like so horrible at it because it's all motion control. Um, Super Mario Galaxy. That was one of my favorites as a kid. I I sunk so many hours in that game with my mom because we would like trade the controller and we'd play it. It was great. I love that game. Uh, what games did you play a lot as a kid? Oh, one of the games I regret getting rid of to this day because A, it was a fun game, B, it's worth a lot of money now. Let me see. What? It's uh, called Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko. Yes. That, it was on the PS2. I had so much fun on that game. You know, Cars was also one of my favorites. One of my favorite all-time games that was on the PS2, and I've just never been able to find it again. It's called Samurai Warriors 2 Extreme Legends. And I remember going to the comic shop in Gaylord, and you remember how they used to have like a little game section? Yeah, in Gaylord? Yeah. I never went to the, up there that way in uh, Gaylord. Well, it's on the main road going to Gaylord. Going towards there, the comic shop is on the left. But they used to have this little game, video game section, and I found this, and it looked cool. So I got it, and my God, I spent over three thousand hours on that game on the PS2. Like it was Good just Lord. so fun. I'm trying to find the Samurai Warriors game. Samurai Warriors 2? Yeah, Extreme Legends. Hey, here it is. It's it's worth 15 bucks. It's complete 20 bucks. That, I know that's not worth a lot of money. It's called Lyoko that was Okay, how, do you, how the hell do you spell that? I, I gotta see, because I, I think he's just capping. Like, okay, one of the worst games I ever gave away as a kid. Uh, freshman year of high school, I wanted money for the snack line, so I sold... My copy, I sold a bunch of stuff to Tyler Amaya, but I don't even know about him anymore. He's kind of just ghosted everybody. Nobody's even heard from him in a while, but, um, no, he was like, oh yeah, I collect games, I'll buy them off you. So I sold him my copy of Star Fox 64 3D, 
for the 3DS, which was one of my favorite games. I already beat it a bunch of times. Because I only sold games I beat, and now I would like to go back and play those, but they're, like, expensive. Another one was, um, Sonic Generations. Code... Okay. But the way you said it made it sound like one word. Code Real Local. Code. Quest for Infinity. It's 46 bucks. I have a grade of 63. I remember it was being sold at Gage. Gage's for about 60. And when my parents told me that, I was like, damn. Fuck. Oh, Savannah passed by us. I don't think you ever met her. She's one of our, my old friends. She used to work for McDonald's like with her. She sounds familiar. Yeah, they right? probably mentioned her in stories before, but um... What other games did you get? Because I know you had the PS2, you had the PS3. What what other consoles did you have as a kid? You had that GameCube. PS1. You want you want to tell the your audience the story about the GameCube? Okay, so hey, there's, there's a GameCube in our family, right? It's my sister's mom. It's my mom's and my sister's because they they they're the main ones that used it. And then I started using it more. And then I was telling him about it, and you know, he's like, "Yo, you, you know, you're interested in selling that." And I was like, "Oh I really yeah." I wanted a GameCube at the time, and this was like tenth grade. Yeah. I really wanted a GameCube because I wanted to add it to my collection because I was like, I was on that hype of collecting things. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and I was gonna, you know, try to do something, but my mom, you know, she just ruined the thing, and it's still not used to this day. And I'm being honest. I have no idea what the fuck it's at. One of the best things was, is, was, okay, so the first time he tried to sell it to me, didn't work. Parents found it. Were like, no, you can't. I told them, okay, hide it for a week. If they don't notice it's gone, they're not going to miss it. Six days in, they, they found it. In his closet. And yelled at him. I remember coming in on the seventh day being like, yes, I'm going to get a GameCube. So I always wanted. GameCube. Hey, found it. Yeah, basically. Um, though you did sell me the Nicktoons game. Oh, yeah. I still have that. It's on my shelf, nice. along with the rest of my games. So that that's a treasured possession that I'm going to hold on forever because I think it's funny. <laughs> Kids, your grandpa's first GameCube game was a was a Nicktoons game. <laughs> but no. Funny, funny story. That was in, um... Was that in health class? Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was in, um... I don't remember her name. Mrs. Spolmer. Oh yeah, Spolmer's health class. Yeah, me and him sat next to each other. I brought my Switch in one time. We played Mario Kart 8 in the middle class for no reason. <laughs> that was amazing. That was great. I missed those days. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, You had a PS1? I, I did. What happened to it? You know, I just got rid of it. Oh, man, I always feel bad for people who get rid of their systems, because then I talk to them years later, and they're like, dude, I want to buy another one. And that's yeah. why I always recommend them to Chaotic, because Chaotic is the best video game place around. I remember having so many games on the PlayStation 2, and then I got rid of the PlayStation 2, all the games, to get a PS3, and I fucking regret getting rid of the PS2, because... All the amazing gems on there, all the great games, all the time I've spent. Yeah, I mean, there's still time. We have our whole lives ahead of us. You can always buy a PS2 and a bunch of games. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, there is always a grandma. Like, uh, Hunter's grandma's got a ton of consoles. <laughs> so maybe if I find a PS2 there, I'm salty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also repair stuff. I'm going to use this. Uh, g get out of the shot. Um, uh, ha. I repair consoles, and, well, not consoles, I clean electronics, so, get out of the, sh get out of the shot, this is my show now, um, if y'all know Tim, y'all watch his stuff, y'all want consoles clean, you know, if they're broken, I'll recommend you do an actual repairman, we got a repairman in town, he does this for profession, you know, super, you know, clean and chill about everything he does, professional, uh, story about, uh, Tom, a game console resurrection. That's the company. I got, I got a shout out because I'm technically an employee, but uh, I had a PS2 from my buddy. He got it from the recycling center. Said he had no idea if it worked because he didn't have any cables for it. Got home, didn't work. I cleaned it up as best I could and I attempted some things, didn't work. 
sent it off to Tom to get fixed. You know, he was like, all right, this is how much it's going to cost. You know, this is just the base pay, you know, any parts. And, you know, he, it was all legal. He had forms. He had, like, actual repair tags. Like, I had him fix my Xbox One uh, for a new disk drive. And, you know, it he, like, gave it back to me in a sealed box with a repair tag. Oh, wow. Like, so professional, it was strange. The guy was like, I just expected to get this, like, just, here you go, here's your Xbox One. No, he packed it all in the box, saran wrapped it, and bubble wrap everything. Surprisingly prevalent. He lives in town, the local shop. He's opening up a place by the Save a Lot. And just the PS2 situation. So, you know, it ended up being like, um, oh God, I think it was like a capacitor problem or a, a transistor problem or something. I can't remember. It was on the power board. And he got that replaced, was like, all right, here's the labor costs, you know, sign here. I gave him the money. Everything was fine. Got home. I tested the, the disk drive because I want to play some games. It only read certain discs. You know, immediately that made me not trust him. I was like, all right. You know, and I immediately texted him. I was like, hey, this doesn't work. Immediately apologized. Went, all right, I'm going to take it back for free. We're going to refund you. I'm going to get this fixed. You know, I gave it back to him. I told him, you know, keep the money. Because he acted very professional about it. He genuinely felt like he was sorry that it didn't work. It ended up being a ribbon cable issue, got it replaced. I think he even replaced the laser, but I can't remember. But nope, came back, fully worked. You know, very professional about it, apologized, was like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, it's my bad. I didn't fully test it. I'm sorry. And to this day, he's the best requirement I have. You know, I always ask him for advice, and he's been teaching me how to fix and repair stuff. So, he's a cool. good guy, honest man, couldn't recommend him anymore. Um, yeah, I have a PS2. I actually have Destroy All Humans for the PS2. I have, I have so many games for my PS2 and I don't play them. <laughs> like, well, because I'm busy working all the time. Mm. Then I get home and I feel miserable because I worked all day. Yeah. And I just go to bed and I do the same thing over and over again. Nap time. I need to take, like, a week off of work to just do things around my house. That's what I want to do, too. Let's take the same week off and screw them over. I'll put it in two months ahead. You put it in one month ahead. So by the time it happens, and they can give us the week off, and we tell them we cannot not have the week off, just to just, just see what happens, just with the chaos and stuff. I was actually thinking about taking a week off after the summer, because, you know, the summer program's coming up, and I might take advantage of that. So, which summer program? Uh, you get more money. Oh, yeah, the bonus between uh, right now and, like, September yeah. 20th or something. Yeah. Something like that. It's, it's all right. It's a surprisingly good bonus. I ended up getting, like, $1,000. Last time we did it, it's like a whole other paycheck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just, you know, gonna try to work as much as I can this summer. That's what I'm doing. I'm still working max hours. Well, this is a bit off topic for your YouTube video. Uh, we should probably cut this short because oh, this yeah. is already an hour long video. Yeah, and I and have noticed I'm running out of. <laughs> thing is, I have a, a fucking micro SD card in here, 16 gigabytes. There's no way. 16? Is... Yeah. My iPod from 10 years ago had 16 gigs in it. Like, 16 gigs is jack squat, dude. You get yourself a 128 gig card for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I know. Also, you probably don't have these being stored onto the, uh, the SD card. You probably have them stored onto the systems. No, it's not the system. I have them getting stored onto the SD card. Well, you have a 16 gig SD card. Yeah. Uh, this has like 128 along with another 128 if you're in the SD card slot. Has not filled up. Which is was the problem with my old phone because I had like 32 gigs and that was it. Oh, God. Yeah, this phone, the memory itself has 32 gigs. Plus, I have the 16 gig uh, SD card in it. All right. Well, um, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, you know, um, I'll be a regular appearance on the the Tim Talk show. You have to have a name for this so we can it's close the it. The Exotic Podcast. The Exotic Podcast. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning into the Exotic Podcast. I can't wait to make stupid YouTube bids with them. Oh, yes. We're going to be doing game stuff. We're going to have in-depth discussions. We we're thinking about singing. If you want to see the two of us sing, Just, I want one person to leave a comment. Anybody. But it can't be you because I know you. I want a single person in the comments to just go, I want to see the two dinguses sing. Because we both love Fallout, so we all know Sinatra. So we will, we will sit down... And we will sing Frank Sinatra. 
I, I'll, I'll pull my phone out. We'll get like uh, karaoke going on. We'll be like, we'll, we'll sing. I'm not gonna give you a demonstration because um, I'm getting all vocals warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> you speak in one tone. <laughs> you only have one tone. What are you gonna do? High monotone or low uh, monotone? Uh, God, why do you speak like that? <laughs> why do you look the way you do? All right, well, thanks for tuning in, yeah, guys. guys. Thank uh, you so much for watching. Um, stupid YouTube crap, like, subscribe, all that yeah. stuff. We're probably demonetized already. How many times you said the F word? Fuck. <laughs> you are not making money <laughs> off of this, are you? You can still make money off of... Okay, okay, you... we have to actually end the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching. Yes. Uh, this is, you want to you wanna have a, any closing statements? Yeah, you know, he's going to be back on here. We're going to be doing a lot of different things. And, uh, yeah, you know, hope you guys have a great day, great night. Uh, you know. Make sure watching. your door is locked. Take your battery. Don't go to Donald's. Ronald Donald. Okay. Yeah, put McDonald's out of business. Please. For the love of Jesus, I don't want my job.